Welcome, today we're gonna go over how to access a folder on one device across several other devices on the same Wi-Fi. So like if you have a folder on your computer that you wanna access with your phone or a different laptop, desktop, you'll be able to do it following these steps. There's three main parts to the video. The first one is actually setting up the folder on your source computer, which is gonna be the first three. And then we'll go over how to access that folder from another Windows computer. And for the third part, we'll access that folder from an Android device. There's chapters in the video, so feel free to skip around. Leave a comment if there's any questions or issues. Prerequisites we're gonna go over is the first one, is be connected to your Wi-Fi. The second one is to get your computer name or IP address. I'll add these two commands into the video description. One's if you're going through PowerShell and one's if you're going through the command prompt. And the last one is to create a local account. I have a video above that goes over how to do that. To share a folder to the network, we're going to follow these steps here. Open up your file explorer and go to the folder that you want to share. Once you're there, right click, click and go to properties. Go to the sharing tab. On the screen, hit advanced sharing, then click share this folder. In this new window, you can modify the name that'll appear for the folder, like when it's being shared. We will click on permissions in order to modify who can access the folder. By default, it shares a read-only access with everyone. So here we're going to search for the local account we created in the prereqs. So click add and then search for your account. So once you find it, you'll double click on the name. Now highlight the new user and modify the permissions as needed. I'm just allowing this user to have read and change permissions. I also removed the everyone group just so this one user, the CJC files, has access to this folder remote. To save those updates, click apply, then OK, then OK. Back on the folder properties, you can copy the network path here. Or instead of the CPU name, you, you can use the IP. And that's it. Now your folder is accessible on the network that you're connected to with the user that you created. To access your shared folder on another Windows machine, we're going to go to the File Explorer, and then in the path above, we're going to copy the path we had in the end of the previous step. Once you hit enter, you're going to have to log in through the Windows Security pop-up. You can use the account information you just set up uh, previously, and now you should have access to the folder from your other computer. To connect to the folder on your Android device, first we're going to go to the My Files app, then you want to click on Network Storage. Then click Add Network Storage and choose the Network Drive option. You'll have a pop-up here to put in the address. We're going to put in the IP address and then the username and password from the local account that we created. Once you're done entering the information, you can put a display name if you want and then hit Add. Now you'll be able to open the files and look at it and also edit.